YouTube has a really great feature where it can automatically close caption your videos for you, but it doesn't get it 100% right all the time. Today, I'd like to go over how you can edit the closed captioning in the YouTube videos, um, and also how you can download the SRT closed caption file uh, so that you can re-upload it to Facebook with the Facebook videos. I'm going to take a look at some of my really old videos to do this, because it does, after you upload a video, it takes a, a moment for the video to uh, process and for the closed captions to appear. So we'll go with some of the very old videos. Now, you can get to the closed captions any number of ways. You can go to your creator studio, go to your videos, click the drop down menu next to edit and go to subtitles. Or I'll show you another way you can do it. You can go to the video itself. And within the video, you can go to the closed caption the following was here. Report made at the Tan Peninsula in South Korea, the site of the largest oil. I went to clean up an oil spill a few years ago. Now it might ask you um, what the language spoken in the video is, and you can select the language here. If you'd like, you can make this the default for all your new uploads. That's what I'm going to do because um, all my languages are going to be in English, or mostly in English. Um, I'm going to hit set language. And notice here, YouTube has actually automatically created these subtitles for me. Um, I'm going to click on the subtitles here, and if it hasn't created subtitles, you can just wait a little while and it will do it for you. Okay, click on the subtitles there. I'm going to wait for the page to load, or else my cursor is going to freak out. Great. Okay, now you can see the subtitles over here, and they're not really perfect, uh, especially because there are a lot of Korean names here. So I'm going to go to Edit. Okay. Now, YouTube also does a pretty bad job at capitalization and punctuation. Um, I mean, it's impressive. The, the tool is impressive. But I'm going to go through and just make it a little bit better. So I'm going to edit here, edit there. I'm not going to edit the whole thing. Um, just kind of give you an example of what, uh, what you would do. After you're finished editing, you can hit Publish Edits. Okay, great. So now there are two different um, edits available, and I'm going to click the one that is not automatic. That's the one that I just edited and created. Now, in order to upload a video to Facebook with closed captions included, you really need a SRT file, and you can get an SRT file directly from YouTube from this automatic captioning. So I'm going to go to Actions here, and I'm going to download the SRT file. Hit Download. I'm actually going to upload a different video to Facebook, and I'm going to show you how to do this with a different video, because I've already done all the closed captionings for this other video. Um, the important thing when you do this for Facebook is that the video name here and the SRT file, which you've just downloaded, are exactly the same. In addition to the name of the video, you want to include .en underscore US for all English language videos that are focused on a US audience or for a US profile. Um, so again, make sure the video names are exactly the same as the SRT captioning file names. Then you can go back to Facebook, and I've already uploaded this video, but I can run through it again to show you how it's done. Go back up here, click share photo or video. Facebook's new format there. And as soon as it opens, you're going to upload a video or photo. I'm going to choose my video here. And as soon as this loads, I'm going to add captions here to the video. Now, for my video title, I'm going to go back to my file. And oops, I think I just double clicked it. OK. And I'm going to paste the video title there. Now I'm going to go to the captions. 
Today we're going to go over how to add a watermark to your YouTube channel. I'm going to stop the video from and playing since I double clicked it. You're going to go to the captions and you're going to hit upload an SRT file. This is the SRT file that we downloaded from YouTube. And remember one more time that it does have at the end of the file name the .en underscore US dot SRT. Okay, upload the SRT file. The language is English as it's shown here at the end of the file name. Um, and then you can basically say anything about your video and hit publish. So that's how you would go ahead and publish a YouTube video with closed captioning to Facebook, including the closed captioning. And you can also edit the closed captions in YouTube. As you can see here, this has already been uploaded to Facebook and the closed captions are playing. I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the message box, in the, the comment box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day.